but yeah, it was uh, it was a good night. Now, what about you with the thousand wins? Did it feel any different? Uh, you know, it it uh, <laughs> it's, it's a game. It's, you, know, you, you do it and you play, and uh, I mean, it's all about the game. So I mean, it's uh, you know those. I was telling Oli that uh, back in the fall, I told my assistant, and we were doing it after the after we won districts, I was doing the numbers for the state. And uh, I said, come here, look at these numbers, add these numbers up. And he did, and he kind of made a face because he was a at that point, and, and that state game would have been a yeah. thousand, you know. So I said, can you keep a secret, which it never came up. We didn't bring it up, and we didn't talk about it. Uh, as we approached it here, uh, they knew, he knew, <laughs> I don't know how he knew, I said, how did you know? And he said in this, the uh, the book, uh, Soccer Made in St. Louis. Dave and, Lang and, yeah, keeps Dave good Lang, records. Right. Yeah, he does, and he does the, uh, did the math. So, yeah, and it was uh, it was various people in the community that kind of knew, so it was one of those things that uh, we had our team meeting last night, uh, you know, explained to the girls significance of tomorrow night's game other than you know the fact it was the opening game which is a conference game so yeah it uh, and plus having some of the, the guys from the fall here uh, yeah. alec and uh, uh troy and uh jordan there so right okay yeah. good so, night so you coached for 34 years and 10 years at oakville right no 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 34 it's uh, for the girls this is my 34th season with the uh, with the girls i've only okay. coached at oakville there's a five-year gap between uh, the boys and the girls. The boys, uh, the fall season was season 29, uh -huh. and this is season 34 for the girls. Gotcha. So what would you say, I mean, is like your favorite thing about coaching? Coaching? Oh, coaching working with great school, kids, exactly. great kids like this, you know, I mean, uh, watching them play, watching them get it, and uh, these girls got it. I mean, it was, you know, you had to, you liked soccer, and you had to enjoy watching them play tonight, you know, so I mean. You know, you followed us in the fall. I mean, when you work with uh, the wonderful kids that we have here at Oakville, I mean, that's that's really what it's all about. I mean, I've been we've been blessed over the years with uh, with good kids, good kids to work with, and they're responsive, and uh, you know, they they, they kind of get it. But we're, what, it's more than just soccer. It's uh, you know, our, our philosophy that what we do down here is an extension of the classroom, and they get that. And, 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 they buy into it, they buy into our system, they buy into all the things that we do, the, the wayos and the playos and all those things that we have, you know, and they get it and they, they go out, uh, they absorb it and they, and we pretty much, uh, you know, our system is is to let them be as creative as they want to be with the system and, uh, and, and they go with it. And it, it's got to be fun, you know, and it is fun, I think, for them. So you, you watch them play, they play, play with a lot of joy, there's a lot of joy in their play. So, I mean, that's... I guess if, if you want to find a word, it has to be the joy, you know, the joy in the game, and, and that's kind of, you know, uh, the fall was special because you pull it together and then you move it to the highest level there and you play for, for a state championship. You know. When you talk about your legacy coach, you've got, I know Sarah Gunther, I got to watch her play. She was a, a Century team member from Missouri Valley Conference playing for Missouri State, now she's on the sideline. What other, what other players do you have out there that are continuing, you know, the work that you've done in this community? Uh, Kyle Forthouse. Uh, Forthouse. He was on the 2000 team. The team he that was, went to won was, the final, for, yeah, yeah, won the no, state, won the state title. Won state. That's right. He was a sophomore on that team, and he was a junior on the team that followed when we lost to Shaman in the state final. So, right. uh, you know, we're, so he played with was that Kai Harris? No, Kai, Kai Harris. Right, yeah, Kai yeah, and yeah, the other guys. Yeah, he was uh, Kai was was uh, would have been. A junior, he was a year ahead. And of Kyle him. Hobson. Kyle Hobson right. was a junior. Also, that boys team. I know from right. Missouri Mar State. Marshy was a senior in that group. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean that's that's uh, I mean my two two assistants been unbelievable. Uh, you know, I've been again there in terms of, of what they're able to do, what they're able to demonstrate, what they're able, the energy they bring, their knowledge. Both played at the college level. Fourth house played at Tulsa, as you said, she right. played it through state. So I mean, so that's the fourth house I heard. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, I'm yeah, putting it together yeah. now. I mean, when we right. we we have so there's D1 players that you oh, yeah, had. Yeah, you had four yeah, one D players we, we on have, that squad. We have we have ten 
we have 18 field players, so when we sometimes scrimmage, it's 10 v 8. Well, when those two play. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'd love to see Gunther playing some more. Oh, Kansas City's the, getting well, a WPS you know, the team. starting to kind of get an idea, but back in the fall when we were, you know, moving into the playoffs and, and, and we did have some scrimmages, I mean, it, 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 was, it was just phenomenal to watch them play. So, I mean, it, you know, that's all part of it, that energy they bring, and, uh, you know, it just keeps renewing itself. And, uh, you know, I'm still having fun. That's why I'm still here. You were a goalkeeper. I was a goalkeeper. Does yeah. that bring a per particular perspective to your coaching efforts? Yeah, that's the old adage that uh, you know, keepers and coaching, and it's like what sort of like catchers get? and coaching, and yeah, I, well, I played baseball and I was a catcher and a first baseman as well. But you know, what's not to get in terms of a, of a goalkeeper standing here and seeing the whole field and see how all the parts fit, how all the parts work. And then as a coach to be able to, you know, to train kids to, to, to you know, and then at, of course with the electronic media being the way it is and what we're able to watch and be inspired by, you know, not to mention coaching courses and the availability of, you know, the internet. You want to keep your training, you know, what do you do? You Google it. There's <laughs> only. Do we have anything else? Yeah. I'm good. Okay. Well, thank you, Coach. And yeah, congratulations. Thank you guys. It was a joy. Yeah, it was, it was fun to, to, to find. I compliment him as a reporter for snooping out because he had emailed him. He says, Is this a big, what do you say? Is this, the, is this true? This could be your, uh, you know, the, 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 w, the big uh -huh. one. Historic. Yeah. We, we all got to do our homework, right, Coach? <laughs> That's right. Thanks.